Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I got a very interesting placeable to review for you guys. This is called the Household Goods Factory. This is a four piece placeable meaning when you go over to the shop to buy the pieces there's going to be the factory itself which is in the back and then there's the three sales points in the front there. The two ground triggers and the little building there. Fall size for this is 80 megabytes. Uh, sorry about the carrots coming up out of the ground there, guys. It kind of caught me off guard. So today's mod is going to be tested out on the factory farm map. Now, with the addition of five different resources, you can get six different products out of this. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'll get this all set up and show you just how it works. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so once again, this is the Household Goods Factory. Fall size for this is 80 megabytes. The price of the factory that's in the back is $80,000 in the shop with a $1,500 a day maintenance fee. The three cell points are all free in the shop. Approximate processing time for this factory is only about 15 minutes in game time. Very, very short production time. Maybe they could fix that in an update because it's, yeah, that's a little too fast. So once again, you get six different products when you put in five different resources you're going to need 10,000 liters of water 8,000 liters of pallets 50,000 liters of logs 10,000 liters of diesel fuel and 10,000 liters of sugar beets so that is definitely a weird ingredient list for this factory here and you definitely get some crazy products now here are the products you get these are pallets full of boxes of trash cans spice shakers brushes combs for your hair <laughs> and a palette of brooms and dust pans and the last item is a mystery item because I actually tried it and it doesn't make any sense what comes out of there I'm gonna try it again so like I said there's the two sale points and the building sale points they all work just fine so you can see there's a little office there in the front with a scale here in the front that's where you're gonna drop off your sugar beets on this little platform here there is where you're going to put your water and your diesel fuel. That is where you're supposed to pick up your wood chips. Now, I don't think I mentioned that. You're supposed to get wood chips, and it looks like wood chips on the ground there. So, that is the mystery item. Something different came out of there, but we're going to see what happens when we fire it up again. I'm going to try a different tipper. There's where you're going to put your logs. Take a little look inside here. go inside the office if you come over to the front door where it says information you just go up to that and press F1 it'll show you everything that you need and all your increments down the bottom inside the office looks pretty good there's not really a purpose to this but it is there to check out so yes there's a few of your resources there come around to the back of the building you're gonna put your pallets right on down there so you got your water, your pallets, your logs, your diesel fuel, and your sugar beets. So that is everything. And you get six different products, like I said. Actually, I got washed potatoes. That's the pro product I got out of that. So how you get washed potatoes out of sugar beets is beyond me. So it might be just an error that was thrown up because I was using the, uh, the Otten to go in there. So I'm going to try something different when I come back. But... That's the only thing you can't sell at these triggers is your washed potatoes. So that's unfortunate if you're not playing on a map that accepts washed potatoes for anything. Fortunately, I'm playing over on the factory farm map. You need washed potatoes for this map, so it's going to work out pretty good for me. So let's quickly go over to the shop here. So under placeables, this is where you're going to find your pallet mill. You're going to need this to make the pallets for your company. I reviewed this before. I'm not going to really go over that, but it makes 30 stacks of pallets when you just put logs in there. I'll provide the link for this down below so you can make your pallets for this factory. So that's located under placeables. Then the rest of it got its own little category right here. You press on that. There is your four different placeables there. There's your main factory, 80,000, like I said, $1,500 a day maintenance fee. And there is your three sell points. Now, oh, okay, I thought that was free, actually. That one's $10,000. But that's understandable. It's a building. And uh, Horn and Walter. There's where your, most of your finished products going to appear here, your combs and stuff. There's five pallets there that are going to appear. And then you pick up the product inside with a tipper. Now, I'm pretty sure it should be wood chips, but it seems like washed potatoes are coming out. So here are all our ingredients here. We have some diesel fuel, some water, some logs, some pallets, an empty otten, 
one that has sugar beets in it, and we have our forklift set up there. So let's start filling this up. I'm going to grab the water first. I'm getting a little bit of lag because i got quite a bit of stuff going on around here. Okay, waters are going to be your first one here. It's not going to take a whole lot. It's only 10,000 liters worth. I'm just going to pull this guy around to the back, get him out of the way. Put some diesel fuel in there. 10,000 liters of this. Okay, let's pull this guy to the side. And put in our next product. Some logs. Left side. Let's switch that over to the right. Straps off them and start unloading. One extra. I'll take that back. Pull this guy to the side. And grab our pellets. At first, I didn't think. It's kind of hard when you review these mods sometimes because they say you need pallets, but they don't tell you what, what pallets you need because there's a lot of different types of pallets, but. I just kind of lucked out because I tried the first one here and it worked so like I said I will provide the link for this as well so you'll notice I have 16 pallets there it's only going to take two stacks I think so let's drop them pick them back up so you can see two were off the back there that is completely filled at 8,000 liters Well, it's not completely filled. I think they're 4,000 liters each, so you can't quite fit the uh, third stack in there. Okay, next up is our sugar beets. Yeah, some pretty crazy ingredients you need for this. But it pays well. So this one here, you get to drop it off on this platform up here, but they appear under your wheels, so you might get a little tippy up here. There we go. So yeah, it just appears under your wheels. You can see 10,000 liters in the uh, window of the little office there. Okay, let's pull this guy to the side, and that should be it. Now you can see over on the clock, it is 13.03. So basically this will be done at about 13.18. So I just want to make sure I get all my ingredients here. Make sure this is all filled up. 80, 100, 100, 195. Okay, good. So, like I said, three minutes after one, let's speed up time. So, yeah, that's done already. It kind of got away from me there, but believe me, it only takes 15 minutes. There's your combs, your brushes, your uh, broom and dustpan, your spice shakers, and your garbage cans. So, that's kind of neat. That is definitely different. Now inside here, like I said, it shows wood chips, but for some reason it was giving me washed potatoes. But like I said, I can make use of them on this map, so not a big deal. And it only used a little bit to make that uh, entire line of products there. So let's go over and grab our forklift. Okay, we'll try our garbage cans here first. Now I'll sell them all at different sales points so you can see that the, all the triggers work just fine. I don't think any give you more than others, not that I know of anyway. I sold this one at the building one over here the first time so let me see if I get the same amount for it. When I sold this the first time I got $1,842. Let's see what I get this time. $1,642. 
1650, pretty close. Let's try our next one here. Spice shakers. Yeah, it looks like those pepper shakers that you kind of twist. You put the peppercorns in it. Okay, we'll try out the second sales trigger hang out. Okay, first time I got one thousand and six dollars. Ooh, almost double that. Spray shakers, yeah. Okay. Let's get we'll see what we get for a pellet full of brushes. Brushes that are made from sugar beets and diesel fuel. <laughs> In logs, in water, in pellets. Yeah, that's funny. Let's try selling this one here. So I don't believe there's a difference in the prices, guys, between the three of these. Not that I know of. It doesn't say anything either. Okay, thirteen hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Now, the last time we got thirteen hundred and eighty-five dollars, so pretty close. Okay, we get some combs next. You can imagine what you get for combs. Now, what we got the first time was $1,909. Some expensive combs. $1,909. Let's take this one over to the building sell point. Just keep switching them up here. Yeah, I'll work just fine. Let's see what we got. Eighteen hundred and sixty-four, a little less, but not a whole lot. Oops. And here we got some dust pans and brooms. We'll take this to the second one here. So that's five different products so far. First time we got fourteen hundred and nine dollars. Wow, we get an extra four hundred there, give or take a few bucks. Okay, so we get a few dollars for all that stuff. Let's pull this guy to the side. All right, guys, I just went ahead and picked myself up a tractor and a regular tipper. Now, like I said, the first time I went through here, I got washed potatoes out of it. I don't know why, but I actually used the Otten over there. So I'm going to see if this makes a difference. Now, that one I showed you on the right has wood chips on the ground. Let's see what happens here. Wood chips. Okay, we're getting wood chips this time, guys. Oh, wait. There's two triggers here. Maybe that's what was throwing it off. I didn't notice there was two triggers inside each one. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it seems to be wood chips coming out of both of these. So, we got 20... 2,678 liters of wood chips not a whole lot but it's a good start now let me know if you guys run into that same problem if you decide to use this mod so there you have it guys that was the household goods factory four piece placeable file size for that is 80 megabytes additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys i really hope you enjoyed today's review if you did maybe you can leave a like on your way out and if you're new to the channel guys why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.